All right, all right, all right, brothers and sisters. The power of man's traditions. As we end the Sabbath of the Lord, my mind is filled with heaviness towards those that are lost in this world. It is filled with sorrow and disappointment. Not just for the sins that I have done, but for the blindness that is on the people of the Most High. You see, just the other day I was teaching a word out on the highways and the byways. And as I was teaching, the Lord said to me, show forth the truth of the things that are contrary to my light. And I obeyed. To my surprise, those that were with me, those who claim that they love the Lord. I'm talking about the ones who claim that they are filled with the Holy Spirit and have accepted Christ. Who are supposedly willing to die for him on this day. To my surprise, they were against the Bible. Yes, they were against the same book that they declared that they were with. They were against the God of the Bible and everything that he stood for. Not declaring that the book is the lie. But but claiming that the book is indeed true, but they will not change for the family's sake. For their family said. Indicating that the traditions of man have become a stronghold for them. Yeah. Yes, it has. Yeah. The same people that 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 would rather listen to man. Rather than God. Now. As I heard this. My mind began to be enraged. And I began to ponder on how could a people declare they are with God, but then deny him by their actions, not willing to let go of what the most high has called unclean, what the most high has called filth. You see. Through this pondering, the most high brought it to my mind and had me to have this conclusion that they are not only fooling themselves, but being a sign and signifying to those who would believe that this is the walk of a true Christian. This is the talk of a true Christian. However, it is not so. You see, many persons in this day and time have expressed a strong desire to continue in traditions of man rather than listen to the word of the Most High. Because of this, many are being tossed to and fro based entirely on their emotions. Being controlled by emotions rather than the principles of the most high. Yeah, you know, they they hear one thing and they believe it. They see one thing and they believe it rather than go into the book and go into the scriptures to search to see whether those things are true or not. They would rather listen to someone who doesn't even come from the scriptures. Instead, a a person who philosophizes or or gives lead way to their filth. If this is you, we hope that this message here today will help you to come out of the traditions of man. We hope that this message gives you strength to stand for the most high against all odds 
knowing that if you desire a stronger connection to the Lord, not our advice, but the Bible counsels is that you must be willing to break off from traditions that are not of God. I'm talking about breaking off from traditions that have no merit within the scriptures themselves, breaking off from from things such as Sunday worship, breaking off from from speaking languages that do not edify no one but yourself, breaking off from things that are contrary to the Lord. As the Bible declares that we are living in a day and time in which the spells and the traditions of man are. And have been gaining more and more strength. Signifying that that those who are true believers. Must do their due diligence. To be a part of the spirit. The spirit. Who is awakening. All of those who seek after truth. To rise. Who are no more blind. But are cured and can see the power. That traditions holds. Over those who are committed to it. And how that same power. Affects their loved ones. Affects the decisions that they make in this life. Ultimately. Affecting where they may abound. After this life is over. You see. In this way. They that can see are blessed. If they continue to inquire and seek after him who hath called them to the marriage. However, others are not so fortunate. Others have not heard the call of the of the Lord. Others are not yet fully committed to Christ and the most high for they are one. Being being so far blinded by traditions that their love of man's traditions have blinded them from preparing for the one who was to return. Being busybody and, and enjoying in places where the Most High has declared that it will not last forever. Trying to make some things clean that the Lord has called filth. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you to declare such things? Are you greater than him? Being unable to see the greatness of the Lord because of your blindness and eagerness to do what thou wilt and not as thou art commanded according to the scripture. Yeah, that darkness is yet on you. And it's in your members until you let go of your tradition that you have received from man. Until you seek after his light and declare not thy own for such a one as this. The Lord has spoken about and has declared through his son the things one must do to be with him. Turn with me to Matthew 10 verse 34. And he declares that. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You see, the Lord here is indicating that he did not come here to bring peace on earth at this time. But a sword, even when he comes back, he is coming back with vengeance, with might. The cloud shall be dark on his return. Verse 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter in law against her mother in law. Verse 36. And a man's foe shall be they of his own household. 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You see, those of you who want to continue the traditions of man, 
who want to continue the traditions that the that the father, that the mother, that your grandpa, that your granddad has, has passed down to you that are not contained into the book. Those of you who want to continue traditions such as Sunday worship, worship at the sun, or eat unclean meat, like pork, crab, praying to different deities, like praying to Mary or the other saints, you are not with Christ. And if you're not with him, you are not of the Father. For Christ declares in, in this same chapter, in verse 38, that the person that does not take it up his cross and follow after him is not worthy of him. You see, he declared that you are not worthy of him. And, and you wonder why you don't get the secrets, the mysteries of the Lord to you in your, sat in your satanic temple. You wonder why your teachers that you, that are put over you can't break down the mysteries within Revelations, can't break down the mysteries that are contained in the book itself. Your connection with the Lord is weak. Your connection with the Most High has been cut off. Matter of fact, in Proverbs 28 and 9, he tells us that he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. The Lord can't hear you. Your prayer is as sin to his ears. Your prayer is not heard. Your prayers are fulfilled by demonic forces for those who are continuing to follow after man's traditions that know the truth that is contained within the book. You see, this leads us to understanding in our modern time why the church is shrinking, why more and more people are awakening to the truth of God's commandments and no longer willing to be a part of a, a, a church or a synagogue. Or, or dealing with the mess that is contained in some of these satanic temples. Some of them leave from their church and never return due to the mess that is in some of these places. Yeah, you got it. Long before COVID-19 came along, people were leaving these places. Being unaffiliated with, with, with many congregations. Being, being not wanting to take part of these satanic worships this is the time brothers and sisters this is the time for change this is the time for repentance the time for total submission to the lord is now we must prepare for the lord's coming first spiritually then mentally then physically knowing that Whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. And understanding that the Lord loves all of those who love him. Not through feelings now. Not, not through some emotion that, that these churches would have you believe. But through deeds. You got it. Through, through action, you must show your love. For the most high. With that, our hope and prayer for you and for all those is that you continue to strive for the mastery and strengthen thy connection with the most high, knowing that the time of his return is nigh at hand, and that the traditions of man must be laid to rest before he returns with that we will wish you all God's speed and, and that if you need any help or any prayer requests please submit them via email at thehusband144 at gmail.com the email will be in the comment section below 
or via phone as the landline is on our website. With that, as always, we shall see you all next week if it be the Lord's will. Hey.